<laughs> Hi everybody, Susan Q here at Q Aquatics and I'm with my nephew Devin. Welcome to Freshwater Fridays. You feel like making some food? I want to make some food. We're going to make some fish food, but we're going to take it outside because we heard it could be a little aromatic. Come join us. Are you ready to make yeah. some fish food? Yeah. I heard this smells really good. Oh, okay. Do you want to smell it for me? No, thanks. <laughs> I already told him it stinks. Um, we went to the dollar store and got these little, um, I guess, what is it? What would you call that? Like a muffin tin? We're going to make up some rapashi. And apparently this is food you make. It's very affordable. We're going to make it up. The fish love it. So what I've heard. And then you kind of make it like jello. And as you stir it, it starts setting. <laughs> and it smells worse and worse. Now, what does it smell like? I'm going to ask him what it smells like once we get it going. I don't know. It's probably bad. I'm thinking it does. But right now, we're boiling water. So we're going to give this a shot, and then we'll make it up and see what happens. And then we'll come back and see if the fish even like it. Stay tuned. Follow along. Say it again? Follow <laughs> along. Dev, I can't read these directions. What does it say to do? How many parts powder and how many parts of water do we need? Bring water to a boil on stove. It's in boiling now. Or kettle, okay. Pour boiling water into a bowl, immediately stir in powder. One part powder to two to three parts of water. Okay, so we're gonna get a scoop. We're gonna start off small, because we don't know what we're doing. We're gonna do one part powder, two parts boiling water. Stay tuned. We're amateurs. Oh, we're amateurs, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get the water, you ready? All right. You hold that for me. By the way, it smells bad already. It smells good. Oh, God, no. That's bad. It smells like hot chocolate. I think we're making hot chocolate. No, we're not. No, get that I out I need here. the top. Dude. Oh. <laughs> and I'm going to put the top on. Oh, it's community plus. So we're making this for our community tank. I also got morning wood for our plecos. We got about two or three plecos in each tank. Yeah, show them it. So we don't know. <laughs> Is that what you did? Let me see. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's like I'm cool. Not. Yeah, right. not. <laughs> Let's go add some boiling water. You ready, dude? Okay, so we just added, how much water did we add? We had one scoop of Rapashi. Is it that bad? He's it's getting bad. sick. This is bad. <laughs> Holy moly. We got one scoop of Rapashi, two and a half scoops of hot oh. boiling water. And we're gonna stir it before it starts setting up. <laughs> Well, we kind of want food that when we put it in the tank, the fish can smell it and go like, ooh, that smells good. I don't think they want to smell that. <laughs> oh. God. What do you feed your fish at home? Um, do you ever smell it? No, you just feed it. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. You pro your fish food probably smells like this too. Probably. I don't know if it's that bad. This was a pretty fun experience other than the smell. Well, I kind of heard about the smell on some of the YouTube channels, so I made sure I made it outside, just in case. But I don't think it smells this bad. I heard the other one, one of the other flavors. Do you call them flavors? Dude, is you really? It's not that bad, try it. Try it? I'm not try it. I mean, just, how about you just try not holding your nose? This is like the freeze, She's like the Febreze commercial. She's nose blind. <laughs> wow, this is Do you want to feel it starting to thicken up a little bit? Sure. Stir, don't pull on the edges. Oh. If he gets it on him, he's going to throw up. <laughs> That's why we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're oh. out here in the snow making repassion food. You're a trooper, dude. You're a trooper. I'm a real trooper. You all right? Yeah. I got some ice down my back. <laughs> you got water dripped on you. <laughs> you might not want to stand in the gutter here. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this. It's like oatmeal. Oh, good, good, good. It's thickening up. Beware. You might be able to smell it from the camera. <laughs> Yes, it's that bad. 
And right now I'm just putting it in the mini muffin pan. Could you imagine if we made a big batch? I only made a small batch because we didn't, we weren't sure what we were doing and if my fish are even gonna like it. Now we, I guess we need to read the bottle. Why don't you get the bottle off the kitchen? Will you gonna hit me with a snowball? <laughs> No. Then you get the bottle off the kitchen table so you can see how long it's set for. I think he was going to hit me with a snowball. <laughs> no, Look how nice it makes it easy to clean up. Look. Came right out. Could you imagine if it was all messy? Let's show them this. Okay. See, so then it clean. says, let cool and immediately pour into a mold. Oh, God, that was, almost got on me. I'm going to stop playing with that. Wait a minute. Gel will set at room temperature, so we don't have to put it in the refrigerator. It's going to set at room temperature. We're going to cut into pieces or make into a slow-release jerky. We can make we can make good jerky. Ew. <laughs> Bad jerky. It looks once, like goo. Once made, once made, gel should be treated as fresh food. So once it's done, we can store it in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. Or in the freezer up to six months. I think this is great. If they like it, I'm glad they this like is it. Great. I know I don't. <laughs> I like it. Forty percent crude protein, eight percent fat, eight percent fiber, eight percent max, nine percent ash. I think we have a winner. Let's go see if the fish like it. You ready to go check them out? All right. See. All right, so we made the rapashi. What kind of consistency would you say that is? Like, like a jello-y? Dog poop. No, that's the color. <laughs> it smells like it too. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. All right, we just got back, we made the rapashi. <laughs> and now we're gonna let it set for a little bit and see if our rainbow fish like it. And here we got rainbow fish. But now that it's cooled up, it stops smelling. It sinks, it's sinking to the, oh, clown loach got it. Yay, the clown loach likes it. They're oh. all fighting over it. Look at it, look at, look at it. I'm pretty sure they like it. Pretty I, obvious. It's pretty obvious that this is a hit. For a couple bucks here, I think I got enough food for a month, two months. Oh yeah, hit the jackpot. Now, I'm not going to feed this every day. I'm still going to give them the green beans. I'm still going to give them... What else do we have over there? Um, Tetra, bring over what we got there. Let's show. It was Tetra Color Granules. They get a turn with um, frozen food. We have some frozen brine shrimp in there that um, maybe once a week I do that. Flakes. Mm -hmm. Pellets. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit. This rapashi should last a pretty long time. And they get a good variety. I can't wait. Okay, so we just finished feeding probably about 15 of our tanks. And so far, the consensus is they like the rapashi. They loved it. They did, especially they the angels. It. The angels, the African cichlids, the South American cichlids. So far, they all seem to like it. All my live bearers just ate it up. I think it was a great choice. Awesome. And it wasn't so bad, was it? Nah. All right. I think I a little overreacted. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. See you next Friday. Call me.